Hi, my name is Mark Nave. I'd like to talk to you today about power line filter development using Lizomate. Why Lizomate, you ask? Well, Lizomate is a test aid that I developed and documented in the 1986 IEEE EMC Symposium. It's a test aid that allows you to isolate common mode noise voltages from the total voltage measured at the Lizon. This allows you to proceed with power line filter development by parts. And you can build Lizomate in your lab. The reference for Lizomate design, construction, and use is shown on your screen. You can also download it from my website. The essence of the design is the three pieces of 16.67 ohm resistors and the two pieces of 50 ohm resistors. 16 or 17 ohms is close enough, except for the two pieces coming from each phase must be very carefully matched, preferably better than 0.1%. In the figure you see on the screen, I have drawn a differential mode noise source with a center point tied to ground. The 50 ohm termination impedance of each lizen is also shown with the center point tied to ground. If the two 16 ohm resistors are shown tied together, but the connection is floating, what is the potential of this node? If the two 16 ohm resistors are very carefully matched, it is ground, virtual ground, but that node is exactly one half of the total differential mode voltage, zero volts. To complete the network, we add the third 16 ohm resistor, and that is the output of Lizenmate. This output is connected to a 50 ohm input spectrum analyzer, and in this way, the termination impedance of each Lizen is equal to 50 ohms. For those interested in the mathematical exercise, it is given in the reference paper. Designing a filter without Lizomate can be very frustrating. It is like trying to solve for two unknowns, the differential mode emissions and the common mode emissions, with one equation, the noise voltage measured from a single Lizen. With Lizomate, the problem is much simpler. It is reduced to developing a common mode filter for common mode emissions, then, with the common mode emissions under the limit by some margin, we remove Lizomate. Now, any measured emissions above the limit are differential mode. We can then develop a differential mode filter for the differential mode emissions. And that is filter development with Lizenmate. Thank you for watching.